we are back. Wow. What a day it's been, probably. Maybe. I don't know. It's just actually starting for us here in the past when these were filmed. Um, we just said goodbye to the last dinosaur and uh, in invented uh, uh, smelting metal. It's, it's a pretty good time here in the past. Uh, another thing that we have done is we have played a bunch of video games and we have listened, most of us have listened to those games while we played them and have an opinion on sound design. And that's why we have a best sound design of 2022 game of the year category. So yeah, let's, uh, let's dig into it. Shall we, who would like to nominate something first? I'll nominate something first. All right, Greg. So I think you, like when we're talking about, you're talking about game sound design, right? We're talking about like the environment and the world and the sound effects of the world. And I think evil that the game has some of the greatest sound effects I've seen in a game in a long time. Uh, there's so many different weapons in there and they all sound incredibly unique. And if you don't like any of those weapons, there's a shovel and the shovel, all you have to do is Google this, like the shovel sound effect or shovel takedowns of the evil Dead game are some of the most hilarious sounds you'll hear in a game ever. The sound of a shovel hitting an enemy, it goes dong, like and it vibrates for like a second or two. And it's so gratifying. People wanted that weapon so bad. They were leaving, they were rage queening out of games if someone got the weapon and they didn't. Like they wanted the shovel was the go-to weapon, even if it was bad, even if it was a bad weapon. Uh, that's a highlight of one of the weapons, but all the weapons sound good in terms of slicing and weight. Uh, the sounds of the creatures, how they move, the footsteps, uh, the environments, all of it really kind of stick comes together to make Evil Dead a really, really impressive uh, game that has incredible sound design. It does also like just sound a lot like the movies. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, yeah, I don't. There's definitely like there's a lot of windy, creepy, eerie environmental noise in the, the Evil Dead movies, especially when like demons are coming around and stuff like a lot of times you get environmental cues before you even get like uh music cues for for a lot of that stuff um and yeah the game really knows it and like that even goes into like a lot of the horror aspects of the game you know uh and the dialogue you know like uh because the deadites say some ridiculous stuff like while you're killing them as well right yeah, I think the skeletons say that cut close to the bone, and they like kind of do their little skeleton, the skeletony stuff. Yeah. Uh, also, like a really solid voice cast, which I think also goes into sound design. You had they even got like the original composer to work on some of the tracks with them, didn't they? For yeah, the music? he didn't. He didn't write music, but they worked very closely with him to mimic the same kind of style and kind of like get that stamp of approval um, by the by the. Uh, musician that that wrote the all the music for the Evil Dead franchise all right well uh yeah uh a very a very good nomination greg good 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 call uh who would like to nominate something next i know that um bill nominated um horizon forbidden west which i think is a really good pick uh if for nothing more than just the uh the dinosaur robot sounds how there are so many different creatures um, that they made up in those uh, that game, and they all sound so distinct. Like the fact that I know what a robot pterodactyl sounds like without seeing one, I think is a, a testament to uh, some damn good sound design from a uh, gorilla. Yeah, it's a cool blend because it's like organic uh, techno organicness, right? So mm -hmm. it's like they have they definitely sound robotic and like. It shifted. It almost sounds like they've been like singing on a pop album a, a little bit, like auto tuned. But there's like still like something left of an animal underneath all that. Yeah, and like the sound design goes even just <clears throat> like the implementation of the sound design in Horizon is really cool too. Like the way that sound echoes through the through the environment is very impressive. I was actually playing last night and by chance I came upon like there was these dudes on machines skirmishing with other machines 
and uh, I was on my way to a quest, so I was like, uh, that's not my problem. So I just kind of wandered off away from it all. But, like, as I was leaving, I heard, like, the echo of their fight going on behind me and, like, rolling through, like, in, uh, th- like, through the air around me. <laughs> like, people just, like, yelling and, and machines scratching and metal clanking against itself and explosions. And just, like, the way that that carried an echo is something that I'm sure I've heard in other games, but it was just very immersive as to, like, the, the sense of, Even walking away from an event, you get that sense of realism and echoing, like, battle and stuff going on. It's so cool. Very cool. Uh, Let's see, does anyone else have anything that they would like to say about Horizon Forbidden West? Uh, What did Bill... Bill talked about liking the bleep bloops as well, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He also mentions uh, the sound design in the cauldrons uh, was used well to convey the state machines were in, be it calm, alert, or aggressive. Uh, yeah, so he's he's all for the audio cues. And I mean, also a lush like, world around all of those creatures as well. A lot of different environments, uh, a lot of different sounds. Uh, but let's see. I know we have a few different nominations to get to. So uh, let's keep going down the list. Morgan, you probably have the, one, of, one of the most brutal nominations out of everybody. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I nominated Metal Health Singer. Um, I was really impressed with the way that it incorporated its soundtrack and its sound design and the weapons with just doom like shooting i don't know i was very impressed by it i put it down for best music as well but like even the way that it uses the music and the way that the music will build as you build up your score i thought was really impressive and yeah i don't know just i I love a good rhythm game yeah and i mean it's yeah it's a it's a rhythm fps which is you know an interesting blend so like sound means everything in that game like you get audio cues from all of the enemies and you have to sync that up with what you're seeing, like your how you react to like what you're seeing on the screen, uh, as far as like the little stuff going towards the center that you're trying to like keep the rhythm with. Um Yeah, and it's like uh, you know, in some of the boss battles too, like audio cues also come into play a lot for preparing for their or uh, whatever attacks they're about to do. The only thing I'd say about Metal Hail Singer is that I, I love the music in that game. It's Chef's Kiss. It's a great rhythm game. I've played a ton of it. But I had to play that game with the music off and just the sound effects for some client reasons, for some editing continuity reasons. And the sound effects, like when you miss or when you hit a, an enemy, like they, they're very, I don't want to call them like, they're not bad. They're just very standard. Like I didn't feel like the, because the music is so overpowering. And so like, that's the whole focus. It's a rhythm game. It's supposed to be. And I feel like with you turn the music off and listen just to the sound effects of like the creatures and the guns and the movement. I feel like it it kind of falls short in that regard because you need to play it with the music and that's that's what it's for. And while I do agree, like music can be part of sound design, especially in a rhythm game. I feel like best music is a for sure category that that game will win. Where sound design, I feel like you it needs to be more of a blanket. Like you know, you need to be like environments and hazards and enemies and weapons, uh, voice acting all that stuff. And the voice acting isn't bad in that game either. But I just found it a little bit weird, like with the music turned off. Like just how everything was kind of pretty standard in terms of sound effects. Well, Could have been just me. that's one. That's one thing I was gonna say too is that the music is part of that sound design, and that the better you do, if I'm not mistaken, the more layered the song gets, and the more elements are added to it. So, like where it's like it's still a pretty good song by itself. If you're hitting the rhythm properly you hear more instruments get added on and you hear like the song become more fleshed out and and more intense as uh, as you will. You get angry too. You get angry when you do, when you mess up because you're getting into the music and all of a sudden it's like back to to like just the guitar basically. Yeah. You know, some backing tracks. Like the reward is the full song for like doing well in that game. 
Um, and no one else is probably going to, I mean, other people might play the game with the sound off or the music off, but no, I think part of the reason that, you know, they wanted to do an original soundtrack for that game is so that there wouldn't be any like DMCA issues, you know, people could stream it because they were, they wanted to do a, like, they wanted to do it with a bunch of heavy metal bands. But then instead, they just got, you know, people to come in and, and jam with them, essentially, which is brilliant. Um, yeah, I, I think it, I think it's good sound design. And yeah, no one else is going to be playing that game without the heavy metal music. Um, but we have a few more nominations to get to. We have some absentee nominations as well that we'll have to dole out. But let's see. For now, um, let's go with... TJ. Yes. Uh, Signalis. I always am very particularly paying attention to any horror game and its sound design. And uh, Signalis hits that atmosphere. That, like, it makes the air feel heavy as hell with, like, the, the airy elements, the space inside the, the space stations that you're exploring, the scrapes that you hear in the hallways because every every character that you run into is an android of some sort and when they get mangled and their metal gets exposed and they're still walking around it's really creepy uh there's also just like the the sheer that 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 classic element of sheer silence before something terrible happens that signalis does a good job of capturing like I love uh, I love a game that makes every moment feel like you're listening and waiting and cautiously moving, waiting to see what will happen. And Signalis has that in spades in its sound design. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Surprise pop-in entries. David Alcratic and Bill Lavoy. David might be able to back you up on the Signalis yeah. sound design stuff here too. Yeah, David, I was no, just yeah. talking coming about in with the, the folding uh, chair. I was just talking about the weighty atmosphere and like the distant scrapes of metal in uh, Signalis and how it does well to build dread. Oh my goodness. Uh, this royal uh, yeah, uh, turned into Royal Rumble here. Here comes Sam Chandler. <laughs> way to the ring. Oh my goodness. It wasn't even 90 seconds between entrance. That's not allowed. Uh, but it's it's wrestling, so everything is allowed. Um yeah, I, I really love the the weight, and I, I love the weight of the sound design. It's Dallas. It's really evocative of Dead Space in that way. The sound design was so crucial to that game, and I feel like it's just as important in Signalis, but also just the also just the retro aesthetic and how that extends to sound design as well. You really feel even swapping between menus, you hit, you have that really heavy clicky computer key press. Just the subtle yeah. touches like that are great. Yeah, I like that. Like block block block. Um, yeah, it's it's great. I love the sound design in that game. Yeah, like that was one thing I mentioned too, I think before you got here, David, is like the use of sheer silence to build dread leading up to a crucial moment. It's like it does that very well. Yeah, um, and the um <clears throat> pardon me, the the screeches of the uh the protectors when you like when you down them just before I step on them to crush the, the cybernetic mm -hmm. life out of them. That's a great sound as well. Just tons of sound, great sound effects in that game. Even though save. Um, I'm, I'm curious, uh, the sound design is, like, is it like a PS1 style visually game, right? It's like a, ret it's got a retro style to it. it it's kind of like Rogue Legacy. It's sort of uh, an in-between, in-between Super NES and PS1. I would say. Okay. Yeah. Um, does the is the sound design in in like does it coincide with the visual design as well, or is it more modern? No, it um uh, it definitely seems to fit with with that era. I'm I'm sure they used um much you know more high def samples than they had access to in like you know the days of the original uh, Alone in the Dark or Resident Evil, but everything feels retro because this base it's the sort of it's the sort of futuristic base or facility you'd see in a movie like alien where it's still big chunky computers and circuit boards and stuff so it has that sort of aesthetic i think i've made comparisons to the original alien 
in other categories where I've mentioned Signalis, but it it all feels and sounds like it's uh, of a time and place. Got it. All right, cool. Sam, did you have uh, something you wanted to mention? Yeah, just uh, Signalis is, as David's put, yeah, the, the sound design of that game is incredible. Even just the, the fact that going to save your game is a scary prospect with the computer screeching at you every time. Yeah, it's, it's, I really dig it. Uh, do you like the sound design more than you like the sound design in Scorn? Oh, that's a that's a tough one. I'll probably make my decision when we get down to to voting. But uh, now that you mentioned Scorn, the I found the sound design in Scorn to be horrific. Uh, there's an unsettling and disturbing not only for the visuals but just how the environment sounds as you squish and squelch your way through it. Um, the the background atmosphere and foley of just like the wind just ripping through this desolate planet, and as you perform all these weird, uh, you know, operations on yourself or putting your fingers into things to open doors, it's all just very squishy and visceral and unsettling. Hmm. It sounds very moist. It is. Um. It is. Yeah, exactly, David. That's kind of it. Um, implica- implication. Uh, Morgan, you you reviewed Scorn for us. Um, what did you think of all of its meaty squishiness? I think it had good sound effects. I think the sound design was decent. I think that there were just there were moments where it felt a little empty in parts, like a little quiet, but. I mean, like once, like the like the thing that digs its hands into you, like that has like a nice little squelch that goes into it, or like when you stick your fingers into different switches, <laughs> it makes sounds. So I think, it, yeah, I think it was I think it was good. A lot, of, a lot of squelching. Oh man! All right. Well, uh, a lot of squelching. That could be the box quote right there. Uh, we have one more nomination. Ozzy Mejia couldn't be here today, but. He uh, did nominate God of War Ragnarok for best sound design. Um, Sam or anyone else that's really into God of War, would you like to speak to the sound design of of the game? I can't if Sam. I can't if Sam wants to still drink his coffee because it's super early. <laughs> yeah, I mean, by all means, go, go I mean, for like, it. I mean, like, I'll, I beat I that. Game. Yeah, I beat that game, and that game is has a, a really good soundtrack. Like, there's there's a weight. It's hard to get weight right in games sometimes. Like, it sounds like it's something easy to do right, but people can mess that up. And the way Kratos hits an enemy, and the way Atreus hits an enemy, is like some two completely different feelings of weight. Like, almost like Atreus is like the way when you when you play as him. Am I saying his name right, Sam? Am I saying it right again? Uh, yeah, right, Atreus, yeah. yeah. When he plays him, like, it, it feels, like, more whippy, like, like more cracks, like, more, like, lighter. And then when, you know, of course, you're Kratos, you're pummeling things into the ground until they're just mulch. And it just, it's a good, it's a good feeling of weight on everything in that game. And not to mention that, like, the enemy sounds, you know, like, the, the, the fluttering of the wings, like, of, like, some of the, some of the enemies and some of the things they say or the tells that they do are also, like, are animated and sound. Like, they're both. They're one and the same. It's just, it's a really good, uh, really good sound, use of sound in that game. I also have to say, what th- I'm, I have this thing about ice. I love ice in video games. I love how it looks. I love how it sounds. And there's a very satisfying snap, crackle, and pop to everything ice-related in that game. So rice crisp it's got some rice krispies going on. This yep. little rice krispie that, vibe. A, a, a bowl of ice from Grand uh, Grand Theft Auto. God of War Ragnarok. It talks to me and it says snap crackle pop. It really does. All right. It whispers to you. It does. In serial code. Uh well there you go. There you have it. Those are our nominations for best sound design. Uh Bill, David, and Sam, I know you came in a little late, so let's just recap for you. Horizon Forbidden West. Metal Hellsinger, Evil Dead the Game, God of War Ragnarok, Scorn, and Signalis are all nominated. Oh man, those are um, yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start it off. Uh honestly, like uh I I I started in uh the Metal Hellsinger court, but Greg, I think you made some great points about Evil Dead the Game. Like 
It really does have create an atmosphere similar to the movies. They have a great voice cast. They have a lot of a lot of great horror stuff going on there. My cat is obviously very excited about the game as well. So I, I challenge you. I, you I, I can't hear it because I'm recording, but I put the a shovel montage in the thing. I'm hoping it's the right one. And like that is such a satisfying sound that you can't hear that shovel hit a dead eye and not laugh your ass off because of the ridiculous like slapsticky sound that shovel makes when you when you hit them in the head. All right. I yeah. I, I like I like that game. I like the sound design. It, it deserves some props. Uh, Bill Lavoie may not be here, but I know he would probably vote for Horizon Forbidden West, which was his nomination. Sam Chandler. Oh, uh, Mike, could you circle back around? I'll need to have a little thing. Uh, here here, goes, your, here <laughs> goes your one skip. You got it. All right. Steve. Uh, I'm going with Metal Hellsinger. David. Ah, I wish I um, I could have heard the argument for Metal Hell Singer. So in lieu of that, I'll go with my nomination, Signalis. Donovan. I'll rock with uh, Horizon. Greg. Got to go with Evil Dead. TJ Denza. No, it's, there is something about industrial horror sound design that just, I love it. All right. Uh, Morgan. I'm going to change my vote to Horizon. That way I can defend Metal Health Singer under the music category. So I'll go with Horizon. It's a strategic, a political vote, if you will. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Ozzy voted for God of War Ragnarok. We know that. And I think uh, that is all the absentee votes that we have, which brings it back to you, Sam. A um, lot of good games, a lot of good sound design going on. I think I'm going to have to get behind David and TJ and pop my vote for Signalis. Wow. As much as I love Scorn. <laughs> So, uh, Horizon Forbidden West and Signalis are now uh, tied, which means everybody's going to have to re-vote and vote for something else. Uh, Greg? I'll do Horizon Forbidden West. All right. Um, who voted for Metal Health Singer? Was that Eve? That was me. Steve. All right. Uh, Steve. I'll do her. I'll do Horizon also. All right. And I'll go for Horizon Forbidden West as well. Uh, Ozzy was an absentee vote. So it appears that best down design goes to Horizon Forbidden West. 